Hey, my name is Lance. I work for Galileo, and my job is to make projects for kids that help them to grow as innovators. In this challenge, your goal is to make a bionic hand that can do at least these three things. Pick up a piece of trash and throw it into a trash can. Pick up a small paper cup full of a little bit of water and drink it. And pick up a piece of popcorn and eat it. Now, you might first think that making something that kind of looks like a human hand is a great place to start. But as you'll see, this actually doesn't work very well. Although the bionic hand challenge is super cool and a lot of fun, the fingers are just not as flexible and precise as a human hand. This means that just because it looks like a human hand doesn't mean that it's going to be able to achieve all three goals in this design challenge. So you'll need to be visionary by thinking beyond what a hand normally looks like and instead imagining creative ways to make and arrange these appendages. Alright, let's take a look at the materials. All you need are scissors, tape, some paper or plastic straws, a paint stirrer, some cardboard, some cotton string, and some soft plastic recyclables. Make sure your plastics are safe to use by squeezing it and checking to see that it's soft and flexible. If you squeeze the plastic and it cracks, then don't use it. Okay, let's start by making one of the fingers. Cut out a strip of plastic that's about an inch wide and as long as you want the finger to be. Be careful of any sharp edges, and if you find any, trim them off. Next, cut out one inch straw pieces and tape them onto the finger. Make sure to wrap the tape tightly all the way around. If you don't have straws, you can make your own with some paper and a pencil. Put a piece of tape on the edge of the paper, flip it over, and then roll it into a tube around a pencil. Now you have a paper straw that you can cut into smaller pieces. When you're taping your straws, one very important thing to note, make sure there's some space between the straws so the finger can flex. If there's not enough space, then the straws will bump into each other and it won't work. The more space there is between the straws, the more the finger can curl. You'll need at least two straw pieces per finger, but you can try adding more for a more flexible appendage. Next, cut a piece of string that's longer than the finger and put it through the straw pieces. If this step is difficult, you can make a simple tool out of a paper clip. Just straighten it out and then fold it in half. Put the bent end of the paper clip through the straw, put the string through the paper clip, and then just pull it through. Finish the finger by folding the string over the tip and then taping it to the back side. All right, this finger is done. Now, before attaching the finger to the handle, we need to build something so there's space for other fingers. Kind of like how our palm connects all of our fingers. To make a palm for our bionic hand, just cut out a cardboard rectangle, and then this is going to get taped onto the handle. If you don't have a paint stirrer for a handle, you can ask an adult to cut at least three strips of cardboard and tightly wrap them in tape. Just make sure that the corrugations are running lengthwise so the cardboard doesn't bend that easily. Okay, back to the palm. Tape it to the handle here, like this, and then wrap another piece of tape around it, like this. Wrap a piece of tape around the other side, and then flip it over and tape it on the back. Now choose a spot for your first finger and tape it on. But one piece of tape by itself isn't going to be strong enough so you'll need to put two more pieces of tape that go across the first piece. Now it's your turn to be visionary by thinking beyond what a normal hand looks like and imagining creative ways to make and attach these fingers. For example, I made a bionic hand that has two short fingers and one long one. But this didn't work very well. And if your first idea doesn't work well either, that's okay. There's lots of ways to redesign. For example, you can make and attach new fingers that are longer or shorter. Try making really long fingers. Try mixing long and short fingers together. Or make a hand that has more than three fingers and point them in different directions. There are lots of visionary ways to achieve these challenges. That's it for this challenge! 
If you created a bionic hand, we would love to see a photo, or even better, a video of your hand in action. So please share it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.